Watching ABC on News 13 inside Las Vegas. With every ending, there's always the beginning, and uh, I'm looking forward to this beginning. I liked seeing the implosion, but I didn't like seeing the Sams go down. I remember a lot of great times there. It's just sad that the last part of the old Las Vegas is going down. The price of progress, a new tomorrow at the cost of yesteryear. But if you've got to go, go out with a bang. A send-off fitting of Las Vegas. This is a News 13 special presentation with Ken Hamilton and Kathy Ray. And live reports from Mark Sayer, Allison McCarthy, Steve Krupe, Michael Geezer, Robin Burke, and Mark Martinez in Live Chopper 13. Now, News 13 presents the Aladdin Implosion. Right now, you are looking at a live picture from one of our exclusive implosion cameras, this one mounted on the Aladdin's penthouse balcony. It's the hotel where Elvis was married, the hotel that Wayne Newton once owned a piece of. Welcome to this special News 13 broadcast. I'm Kathy Ray. And I'm Ken Hamilton. We have live continuous coverage and camera angles you won't see anywhere else. A total of 22 cameras on and around the Aladdin Tower. During our hour-long program, you'll see implosion views from the building itself. Now, this is hallway cam looking through the doors of the penthouse suite on the 17th floor. And then our exclusive roof cam will give you a view from outside that hallway looking to the southwest with the Las Vegas Strip in the background. Our reporters are virtually everywhere tonight from high above to ground zero. First, let's go up to Live Chomper 13, Mark Martinez. We are less than a half hour away from the blast. How do things look from up there right now? Boy, Kathy, you can really tell the crowds are starting to show up and you can actually feel the excitement even up here in Live Chopper 13. Look at all the people that have gathered now on the Strip. NHP and Metro have closed the Strip down now and everyone is jockeying for a good position. You could see people running to the front of the line as soon as they close the Strip off, literally to try and be the first ones up there against the police tape. They have now closed the Strip in front of the Aladdin and earlier we were told they would allow people to be on the west side of the Strip to watch this, but that's not going to happen. They've actually closed this basically from between Flamingo and Tropicana, so you're going to be stuck in those areas if you're trying to get a round around here. But uh, again, you can see with Zoom Cam tonight, thousands of people have shown up to watch this. Traffic a real mess right now, especially on the Strip, anywhere around Flamingo and Tropicana, so keep that in mind. The highways are also backing up with people who waited to the last minute to try and get down here for a good view of all this, but again, uh, you can feel the excitement down there tonight as all these people turn out to watch this historic event. Now, the, over the weekend, the winds were a problem. Let's check in with News 13's Chief Meteorologist Ted Texter to see how things are down on ground level tonight. Mark, just as you, as you tossed me, I feel a little bit of a breeze coming out of the southeast, it feels like. Our wind indicator on the scene is indicating a south to east breeze at about one to two miles per hour. Little puffs of wind have been coming on through. The prowl cars, the, the, the cops on bikes have been clearing the streets. Uh, we've seen the last minute preparations going on here at Ground Zero. The cameras are all being covered. We all have our gear. We're ready for the implosion and the dust that will be coming right now. I think the dust will probably head over towards Monte Carlo. In fact, right now, let me take you over to Polo Towers where Mark Sayre and Allison McCarthy are on the 12th floor with a bird's eye view. 
We are indeed, Ted, and uh, we have hairspray in tonight, so even if the winds do pick up, we, we should be okay for you. As Ted said, we are on the 12th floor of the Polo Towers. From up here, what we can see you? the crowds literally filling every every crevice. If there is a spot for them to be, that is where they are. Trust the, us. The streets are filled, and also the skies are filled. Mark Martinez isn't the only one that has a bird's eye view from up there. Lots of choppers have been going by over the last few minutes. I am just thrilled that this is the first implosion I get to cover in the field. Yeah. I've always been back at the studio. My adrenaline is pumping. You believe me, her adrenaline is pumping. <laughs> Can't wait to see what her reaction is. It is News 13, of course, the uh, only station with a crew actually inside the blast zone. News 13, Steve Coopy is down there about as close as any human being can safely be. Steve, how's it look? It looks great, Allison. We are indeed inside the blast zone. Hard hat required. A filter mask will be going on as well as goggles a little later with 800 pounds of dynamite in the building. The danger where we're standing is extreme. Take a look at what we expect to happen when it goes. Blasts throughout the building, first on the bottom and then through the middle. And then there'll be a dramatic pause as the building hangs and then begins to collapse and fall towards the south. Something like that. And uh, believe me, when it goes, you will feel it in your gut out here. We are so close. They won't let me stand here. Next time I talk to you, I will have to move over here and take cover behind that building. That's just how dangerous it is here in the blast zone. Let's go now to News 13's Michael Geeser, who's out on the strip with the public. Michael. Okay, Steve, thanks. They're lined up and ready to go. We're at the Country Star Restaurant in the back parking lot, and it is absolutely packed. Take a look for yourselves. People have rented chairs, they've bought food, a little beer, and this is it, the best seat in the house. Now, we have 22 cameras to bring you the action tonight, but one we'll be showing throughout the evening is Roof Cam. It's a camera located on top of the building, and if the building had eyes, this is what it would see, the strip right in front of it. Now, we have no idea how long the shot will last, but that's part of the fun. Some of the shots go directly to black, some are priceless, and we hope to bring you a few priceless shots tonight. Now, if you're coming down to the Country Star, you're being asked to park to the, at the Holiday Inn or the Monte Carlo, which is next door, and then walk over, and if you do that, you will be set. And speaking of people who are set, let's check in with Robin Burke, who is hanging out with the VIPs tonight. Robin? That's right, Mike. We are at the VIP tent. We are just outside of it. I'm going to tell you what's going on inside there in just a minute. But the reason that this is such a special place to view the implosion is because it is the closest unobstructed view possible. Look how close we are. We are just on the other side of the Aladdin Theater, and just beyond that, a clear shot of the building that will be soon imploded. Now, the other reason that this is such a special place, you can stay inside the tent, you can see through this plastic right here, and you don't have to get any dust on your hair or clothing, and of course, an auction is going on inside, and that's the special, special reason that the VIP tent is here, because it will benefit Make-A-Wish Foundation. And later, I will model my survival kit. Ken and Kathy, back to you safe and sound in the studio. All right, thanks a lot, Can't Robin. Wait. Boy, it's an incredible night. As you can see, we have a lot of angles to watch this implosion. 22. And as soon as the old Aladdin comes down, a new one will start going up. The Aladdin name, however, will survive in the form of a $1.3 billion resort. Much of the Aladdin's original design is captured in plans for the new hotel tower. It will be five times bigger than the old hotel, featuring a huge shopping mall as well. A separate Planet Hollywood casino is also in the works. The new Aladdin is set to open in the year 2000. Now back to a live picture from our exclusive balcony cam. It is about T-minus and, oh, maybe 18 minutes or so and counting. News 13's coverage of the Aladdin implosion continues in just a moment. You are looking at a live picture from our exclusive hallway cam. Now, the building itself is 21 years old. The original Aladdin opened 31 years ago. And in just a few minutes, we expect it to be around 727 or so. It will all be rubble. Now, let's go back out to News 13's Mark Sayer and Allison McCarthy. This is my fourth implosion. They have been on the air for every single implosion since this trend began. What pros you guys are? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's just so exciting. We don't know what to do with ourselves. Actually, this is going to be the sixth implosion. Some people are saying it's only five, but right. don't forget the dunes had two towers. The one, of course, went down on the big ball mm -hmm. of fireworks, and the other one was the middle of the night at 2 a.m., more like just an industrial implosion. The public wasn't invited, and it was a much lower key event. I think so, people forget about that. Yeah, they do. All of them were spectacular, some more spectacular than others, but they all had their very special characteristics. It all began when the dunes came tumbling down in October of 93. 
The dunes became dust with fireworks and fiery explosions. The tower literally became a wall of flame as it crashed to the ground. Eight months later, the second dunes tower was demolished. And now, four years later, the Bellagio Hotel is getting ready to open where the dunes once stood.